morning my dear friends and worthy teachers today i sonam of class 10c is here before you to present a poem on the auspicious occasion of republic day our land is a land of sages known for its bravery for ages known for its bravery for ages none can with it compete our culture and heritage no one can beat our culture and heritage no one can beat whatever caste or religion all of us live in unison all of us live in unison with rivers and sweet fountains it's a land with lots of valleys and high mountains with lots of valleys and high mountains its forests are pretty and our source of prosperity and our source of prosperity let's for it work hard for the safety of our nation let's always be on guard let's always be on guard thank you all and wish you all a very happy republic day good evening to all watching this my name is jia batra and i study in class 10 I am obliged and honored to give a speech on Republic Day. Republic Day, celebrated every year on 26 January, has a special significance in the history of India. To make this event more memorable, the national event is celebrated with a lot of joy, happiness, and pride in our hearts. As we know that on 26 January 1950, the Indian Constitution came into effect, and so from that day, we, the people of India, celebrate it with a lot of joy. A grand celebration of Republic Day is held at the capital city of India, Delhi. The celebration starts at the gates of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The President of India unfurls the flag and addresses the nation with the Republic Day speech. The prestigious awards of the country are also given to the martyrs, the heroes of the army and to the civilians on this day. I want to end this speech by saying that it's a day that makes us think beyond the caste, creed, religion, language and color and we all feel the same emotion of loving our country. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Greetings everyone. I am Pandi of Class 10 3 and I am here to talk about the topic Preamble of the Constitution. We, the people of India, have solemnly resolved to constitute India into sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunities and to provide them among all, fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. In our constituent assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby enact, adopt and give to ourselves this constitution. Thank you and happy Republic Day. Namaskar, my name is Bhavrayan Sharma and I am a teacher of the 10th grade. आज मैं आप लोगों के समक्ष एक कविता प्रस्तुत करने जा रहा हूं जिसका शीर्षक है हमें मिली आजादी वीर शहीदों के बलिदान से आज तिरंगा फहराता है अपनी पूरी शान से हमें मिली आजादी वीर शहीदों के बलिदान से आजादी के लिए हमारी लंबी चली लड़ाई थी लाखों लोगों ने प्राणों से कीमत बड़ी चुकाई थी व्यापारी बनकर आए और छल से हम पर राज किया हमको आपस में लड़वाने की नीति पर उन्होंने काम किया हमने अपना गौरव पाया अपने स्वाभिमान से हमें मिली आजादी वीर शहीदों के बलिदान से गांधी तिलक सुभाष जवाहर का प्यारा यह देश है जिये और जीने दो का सबको देता ये संदेश है लगी गूंजने दसों दिशाएं वीरों के यशगान से हमें मिली आजादी वीर शहीदों के बलिदान से हमें हमारी मातृभूमि से इतना मिला दुलार है उसके आंचल की छाया से छोटा ये संसार है वृक्ष शांति की चली हवाएं अपने हिंदुस्तान से हमें मिली आजादी वीर शहीदों के बलिदान से धन्यवाद and be proud of our country. We salute this them for this their work for this country. Let's make a promise that we would not let the hard sacrifices of our brave freedom fighters go in vain. We would work hard to make our country the best in the world. Let's salute the India on this Republic Day. Happy Republic Day. Thank you.